So let's explore the music section. How can we use this area to help promote, to help the child to connect to an emotion? Connect to the physical sensations so that when the changes happen physically, they recognize that they're going up the scale. The child can't regulate an emotion if they aren't connected to the physical sensations of change. So let's have a look at one. So if we explore under the sea, we may play this track, have it on in the background or on the television, on the interactive whiteboard, on the laptop. And we just listen. And we just invite the child to connect to how it makes them feel. How does that make you feel? makes me feel calm, it makes me feel relaxed, it makes me feel excited, it makes me feel. If the child struggles with the, the word of an emotion, it could be it makes me feel tingly, it makes me feel ex sparkly, it makes me feel, let's listen to another one. How does it make you feel? Where is that feeling? And we're sat listening to this track and you're regulating your breath and you're grounding into the space and maybe you're watching the fish. What is your heart doing? What are your muscles doing? Let's look at them. Now if the child struggles to have that pause, if this child struggles to be able to sit in stillness, then Allow movement, allow the movement, allow them to stand up and move to the tracks. How does the track, how does the music make your body move? How does the jellyfish? Depending on the age of the child, you know, become the jellyfish as they're watching it, moving gracefully in the water, connecting to their breath, connecting to the physical sensations of change. And then you might put a different track on. So this one is the interceptive, so just that's this interception. So what we're doing with these activities are we are evoking change physically. Let's have a look. If you were moving to that, it's going to have a different movement than if you were moving to this. Let's pause for a second, let's put a different track on again, right? And let's imagine, so let's open-minded with our creativity hat on, let's imagine that you had some paint, you had some colours, you had some felt pens. I wonder what colours you would draw this to. If it were 
was a word, what word would it be? Let's find, I've got pink, right, with a pink noise. And the water. That, that track, the pink noise, the white noise, the brown noise, is all focused on soothing the system away from distraction. The distraction of the noise of the traffic outside, of people talking, of people in the corridors, of the chitter chatter that can happen in our mind. It's a great evidence-based, great tool to have in the background. So these ones, so when you look at the noises section, it's all focused on how can we regulate the nervous system by blocking out that external chatter that can happen in our environment. We can't block it out for whatever reason. Maybe we're doing an activity that involves us to connect and speak and, and we don't have the resources to put little loops in our ears, we don't have that, we can use our white noise, brown noise, pink noise. If we're looking to regulate the heart, to regulate the nervous system, we're looking at music that evokes the parasympathetic. So these are all 60 beats per minute, evidence-based music tracks that regulate the heart. And when our heart is regulated, our parasympathetic system is online we are more able to, more able to deal with going out of our window of tolerance, our window of, you know, that stress when we start to dip into moments of, of pressure, of the uncomfortable. When we're looking at the music and we think, oh, what, what, what purpose could it have? What could we do with it? We've got lots of options. We can use it as a way of regulating the young person, regulating the child, they're feeling distressed. We can use it to regulate the child so that they feel more able to deal with other times. The more we activate the parasympathetic, the stronger it becomes. A dysregulated nervous system is always in sympathetic. The sympathetic nervous system is the adrenaline cortisol in the system is overwhelming. We want to activate the regulating part and music is a way, is a tool. Allowing them to just listen, just connect. If that's tricky, they could do some drawing, they could do some colouring, listening to the tracks, colouring, moving, can they move as they do their drawing? Think of a big piece of paper. Think of, you know, think of the movement that can happen with the tracks. So let's put one on. <laughs> and we're moving with the butterfly. And then we're getting some colours. We're getting those colours. And we're using them on our paper. We're using them on a large piece of paper on the wall. We're using them to show what it feels like to be regulated, to be in that moment. What does it feel like? We might choose to draw the jellyfish. We might choose to, but it's not about, as I've always said in the art sessions, it's not about the finished drawing. It's about the process, connecting to the environment, connecting to the colours, connecting to the facilitator, inviting you into the setting, connecting to all of that and regulating the system. Bringing an awareness of a situation into the room, maybe there's conflict, maybe there's anger, maybe there's, but then regulating back down. Allowing the child to have opportunities to feel that 
frustration and anger that they've had a detention, that something's not happened that they predicted, whatever it might be, allowing that to come through, with the art to come through, with the storytelling to come through, with the movement to come through, and then regulating back down. Remember we go in flows. It's not about always being one state. The goal is being able to move from one state to another with flow. Not being stuck, not being stuck in anger, not being stuck in resentment, not being stuck in fear. It's about flowing. We're going to be afraid in times. We're going to be angry at times, but it's our capacity to come back down. And these music tracks, these opportunities, give the child a chance to come back down. What does it feel like to be regulated? For some children, they don't know what it feels like to be regulated. This is the unknown. But we might do a moment of it. We might do three minutes of it. We might do five minutes of it. And each time, you'll find they'll connect. Each time, they'll activate that parasympathetic and they will feel okay with being calm and still. It's like, this is okay. This was the unknown at one point, but I'm all right with it now. <laughs> and that's what it's all about. It's dipping the toe into moments and knowing that that's okay to be safe in regulation. Thank you for watching. <laughs>